Propping area clear. Okay. Clear! You crack the throttle just a bit. Hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air here. We're here with uh, cameraman Jeremy. And uh, you guys know Jeremy, so <laughs> now we're gonna get, we're gonna give Jeremy a little flight lesson and uh, see if uh, all these videos that he's been putting together, see if he remembers what we're doing. And um, and by the way, this is our 100th video that we've made. Uh, so congratulations, Jeremy. Good thank you. Good job. Good job. And uh, thank you guys too for supporting and uh, watching us. So make sure you like and share and subscribe, all that good stuff. And then uh, one of my instructors, uh, Jimmy's from Jimmy's Wild Adventures. Uh, he's got an Instagram page. You guys should check out Jimmy's Wild Adventures. He wanted to be in the video, in the, in the hundredth video. So, um, so we got him here. So, there he is. So now Jimmy is in the video. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna ride along with us and see how it goes. So uh, let's see if uh, Jeremy knows uh, has learned anything from all these videos he's making. Uh, Shall we go do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. So frequency uh, switch right here. There there you go. The instrument approach procedures are in effect. He's caution for multiple cranes in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Check notes for details. State position, initial contact, read back runway assignment, and hold short instructions. Use caution for birds and wildlife in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Advise initial contact, you have Tango. Tango. So, Tino Airport information, Tango 2148 Zulu, wind 250 at Niner, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 28, 2.13, out somewhere 2983. 2 Niner, 8-3. Landing and departing, runway 26 right, and runway 26 left. Ready for that. No, it's Airman. ILS runway 26 right out of service. Amendments to the instrument approach procedures are in effect. Please caution for multiple cranes in the vicinity of Tino Airport. Check notes for details. State position, initial contact, read back runway assignment, and hold short instructions. Use caution for birds and wildlife in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Advise initial contact, you have Tango. Tango. Okay. Chino Airport. Wow. Switch. What are the winds? Nine at two seven. Two seven at nine. Is that right? <laughs> Switch again. New landing and departing, runway 26 right and runway 26 left. No, it's Airman. ILS runway 26 right out of service. Amendments to the instrument approach procedures are in effect. Use caution for multiple cranes in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Check notes for details. State position, initial contact, read back runway assignment, and hold short instructions. Use caution for birds and wildlife in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Advise initial contact, you have Tango. Chino Airport information, Tango 2148 Zulu, wind 250 at Niner, visibility 10, two five zero at nine. sky clear. 250 at Niner, so our runway is 26, so it's only 10 degrees off, and it's pretty much perfect conditions, 9 miles an hour, pretty much down the runway. All right, so what do we do now? Release the brake. Release the brakes. Ooh, off we go. Give a little juice. So again, I like keeping my right hand on the stick, just right. holding it. You don't have to, but if a wind gust hits the blade, it'll bounce the stick back and forth against your kneecaps, and then it kind of... That would be fun. Not, not too fun. So information tango here at uh, Chino. And uh, what does that mean, tango, guys? Uh, on the ATIS, they usually record them once an hour or unless there's a significant weather change. And in the morning, they start off with A Alpha, then they go B Bravo, C Charlie, D Delta, uh, go through all the, the alphabet. So they're all the way up to T Tango. When we radio the ground control to tell them we want to go to the runway, we just mention to them, hey, by the way, we heard your information Tango. Then, then the tower knows that we have the latest weather information. All right, you remember how to do the radio calls? Are we on the right frequency? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're on the ground control right now here at Chino. So he's going to call the ground control, tell him we want to go to the uh, runway, and we have Tango. Go ahead there. Okay. Chino Tower, November, Tower Copter, November 232 Papa Golf with Tango uh, Taxi the active. Chair Copter, 232 Papa Golf, Chino Ground, runway 26 right, taxi via Mike Delta, out the cross, runway 21. Uh, Active two six right taxi Delta 
Start over. All right. <laughs> uh, two six right, Mike Delta Alpha Cross two one two Papa Golf. All right. <laughs> Dude, <a> pilot. That's <laughs> uh, right. I've not been there yet. It's a. It's, it'll, it'll get there. <laughs> all right. Let the break go. Uh, sorry. All right, guys. So what did he do there? So. Um, <laughs> It's four things that you say to the uh, to whoever. First of all, you said Chino Tower, and there was, we're actually Chino Ground we're talking to. Oh, my bad. So you say Chino Ground, and then who are you? This is Gyro uh, 232 Papa Golf. Where are we? We're at the uh, Eagle's Nest 2, which is the name of our hangars here, Eagle's Nest 2. And then what do I want to do? I want to taxi to the runway. Then the tower will say what he said was taxi to 26 right. That's the runway. Via, meaning I want you to go this way, Mike Delta Alpha, cross runway 21. So we're on taxiway Mike right now. We're going to taxiway Delta, then Alpha, then cross runway 21 on the way to runway 26 right. Now, the ground control guy only has to hear where you're going, 26 right, and your tail number, 232 Papa Golf. That's the only thing he really has to hear. The whole Mike Delta Alpha cross two one part is just extra, but it's nice to read it back to the to the uh, to the ground control guy. But if Jeremy had just said taxi to two six right to Papa Golf, that's all he would have had to say. Really? <laughs> yeah. Now I tell you. Huh? <laughs> all right. So we are coming up on runway two one right now, and. Oh, even though we're cleared to cross, I like to look both ways just for the heck of it because uh, you don't want to cross a runway without kind of checking because there could be a 747 landing that we do not want to hit. Here at Chino, actually, it's kind of, there's a lot of crazy aircraft. I was sitting at the run-up area the day before yesterday and uh, a B-29 bomber came pulling up. Uh, it was dock and um, beautiful aircraft. I think there's only like two or three of those things flying in the U.S. still, but wow, that was it was very impressive aircraft just taxiing on by. Uh, so there's a lot of World War II stuff here at Chino, which is very cool. All right, Jeremy's doing a fine job taxiing. He is taxiing a tiny bit on the fast side. Um, I personally say you taxi at a about a fast walk is the fastest that you want to go. You know, you don't want to be hauling all down the down the taxiways. Just a nice, calm, smooth pace is usually pretty good. And um, so we're on taxiway Alpha right now. At the very end of Alpha, uh, here at Chino is our run-up area, and that's where we pull over. And we're going to go through the whole aircraft and make sure things are all working right before we get over by the runway. Did I mention that Jimmy from Jimmy's Wild Adventures is with us? There he is. There, there's Jimmy from Jimmy's Wild, Jimmy's Wild Adventures. Our case is camera. There is Jimmy. <laughs> okay, we're pulling into the run-up area here. So I like to go to the very back of the run-up area, kind of go all the way to the end. One two Tango Lima, Chino Ground. Maintain a VFR at or below 2,500. SoCal departure frequency 125.5. All the way to the end. Oh, all the way to the end. Okay. 4777. Yeah, we're just trying to be nice uh, humans here. Just make okay, room for... Okay, 2 Tango Lima, VFR out of below 2,500, 25... Make sure any other aircraft coming into the run-up area have space. So we've kind of pulled all the way to the end. Um, by the way, I know a lot of you guys have, uh, are, are, have issues talking to the tower. Um, the tower guys are super nice. You know, that again, they know that uh, we train a lot of people here. And so if you mess something up talking to the tower... It's not a big deal. They don't really care. And if you don't understand something the tower says, just please say, please repeat. And uh, they're more than happy to repeat. Um, here at, at uh, Chino, they're super nice. And uh, so, because we've all been student pilot once, and we, uh, we everybody makes mistakes. So if you ever have a question, don't hesitate to ask the tower to please repeat. Um, they're happy to do it. Yeah, I, I'm a ham radio operator, and I used to, I was a cop, and I can talk on the radio all day, but for whatever reason, I got vapor lock. <laughs> Good talk, so. <laughs> yes. Weird. All right, so we're at the run-up area, so let's get our checklist yeah. back out. We're going to go over the checklist to kind of see where we're at. Warm we up at 2,000 RPM. Warm up at 2,000 RPM. The reason we do that is because if you're at a low RPM in the Rotex engines, you can see how there's a vibration in the gyro, and it shakes the gearbox pretty good um, down around 1,500 RPM. At 2,000, it kind of smooths it out. Um, I had to replace a gearbox uh, on uh, one of my engines 
recently, and um, it cost about six thousand dollars. So uh, we do want to Rotex recommends that you warm up at about two thousand. Then it takes that gearbox shake out, and you can uh, prolong the life of your gearbox. So control check. Control check again. A left and a right is all we do. We don't ever pull the stick back all the way because. Chop, chop. Yep, the blade will come down and hit the propeller. So we don't pull the, the stick back unless we're at 200 RPM or better. 25. All right, where are we at? Get up to 2,500 RPM. Yep. A little bit too much. Now, we're doing a mag check here. Uh, it's called a lane check on the 915 engine. Rotex recommends that we don't actually do this because it's you're basically just shutting the computers down and rebooting them. Um, but a lot of uh, pilots like to do mag checks. But this is a fuel-injected engine. It's electronic. And so um, Rotex recommends you don't do it. They just say as long as your lights are all uh, not lit, uh, then you are fine. But I know some pilots like to do it, so we're going to do the uh, mag check. All right, mag A and B have reset and their lights are off, so it's pretty happy. Fuel is good. Fuel's good. Let's throttle back down to 2,000. There we go. Oh, dropped it too much. Yeah, it's very touchy on the low end. Okay. Now what? Taxi to the runway. Let's taxi over the runway. All right, we'll put that down. I've noticed our blade has kind of swung out of place a little bit too. Our trim pressure is not quite high enough to hold the blade. My bad. There you go. All right, we're going to taxi to the line, 26 right. And the tower does not like even our blade crossing the 26 right. Everything behind the line, uh, you don't want to cross that to hold short line until we have permission. So uh, we're going to flip over to the tower frequency now. And here it's, you know, it's 118 500. So let's do that. All right, the, the tower is up. And uh, so what are you gonna say to the tower if you want to do pattern work? Uh, Chino Tower, November 2 through Gyrocopter 2 through to Papa Golf. Engineer one way to base turn the final truck following half mile final 60 knots indicated. And, speed. And, and where, and where are we at? Pull uh, short 26 right. At 26 right. At 26 right. And, two six right. and for pattern work. And uh, say for pattern work. For pattern work. Yeah. Sending down one. Come for zero one. All right. Two four Chino Tower. Fifty for two. Intel 24, Gina Tower. Can tell that the, and the and pattern is a little right busy, or the, the tower is busy. Right so you're right waiting. Pattern, you're waiting for an opportunity to get in there. Intel 24, yeah. straight in that 26 uh, right. 26 right, Frank Alpha Four. Gina Tower, Lear 312, Tango Lima, holding for 26 left. <laughs> All kinds of people talking. Yeah. Uh, request to the stop. We have. We're 77 Charlie Machino Tower, follow the 15 freeway left base from 26 right. Oh, no. There he goes. Sorry. We have an aircraft landing on our runway right now, so we're going to give him just a second. Air 312 Tango Tower, stand by to arrival. I copy that. It's right. Hold for it. Okay, you want to throw it in there real quick? Zero Lima, start to go. Oh. On. Zero Lima, oh, Zero Lima, start. Ow. Okay. Chino Tower, Gyrocopter 222 Papa Golf. Uh, hold short at the 26 right, ready for pattern work. 222 Papa Golf, Chino Tower, stand by. Standing by, 222 Papa Golf. There you go. Stand by. But at least we got the call in, so he knows we're waiting. Yeah. Air 520 Lima Hotel, make our right traffic runway 26 right. Right traffic for 26 right, Zero Lima Hotel, thank you, sir. Zero Charlie Whiskey, Nose Lady Hotel, right turn hotel, contact ground point six. So for takeoff, let's turn on pump two, just for safety. Down there Cat 401, over the 15. Cat 401, turn base, right 26 left, clear for the option. A correction, right 26 left, cleared, low approach only, traffic to the far right, arrival, Learjet. All right, turn at base, cleared, low approach only, 26 left, Cat 401. A few moments later. Jarrah 232, Public Off 12709, or August 16, traffic, got two and a half mile final, Cessna, no delay, fly runway heading, runway 26, right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, two, three, uh, clear for takeoff, 26 right, 262, Public Off. All right, so no delay means let's we'll move it on there. I'm going to help you with this one just because we guys got okay. it on a two mile final. We go to flight mode now. That way you don't have to do it when we get up there. 
Are you steering? I uh, no, I will. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you were or not. All right, start pushing down the pre-road button. So we're just under 2,000 RPM. To stick centered. Easier now. Rotor speed's going up. Saw the clock four miles off direction, 2,700, type unknown, possibly about a corona. I'll look at Cap 431. Coming up on 200 RPM on the rotor. All right, the four steps. Thumb off the button, stick back, release the brakes, add power. You have all the controls. Are my controls. <clears throat> rotor speed's coming up. 250 at 300, that nose will float. There's 300. There's the float. Whoa, keep it down. Left stick. All right, once you're floating, full power. Left stick. I'm going to give you the controls. Oh, back pressure. Left stick, right pedal, right pedal, right pedal. Back pressure. Add some trim. Trim, trim, trim. Trim all the way to six. Hold it down. There you go. Back the stick up a little bit. Back the stick up. We're doing 90 miles an hour. So like this. Whoa. There you go. Okay. <laughs> See my, my pressure? Yeah. Right there. There it is. Okay. Piece of cake, oh, right? Holy, that was crazy. Eight nine whiskey. whiskey. Right traffic, runway two six right. Continue northeast bound for right traffic, runway two six right. I'm back to sixty. Back on the stick. Uh, right traffic, two six uh, right. Eight nine whiskey. Add more trim if you need. Two bubble golf, make over right close traffic, runway two six right. Right close traffic, two six right. Two bubble golf. Right turn. Wow. All right, Jeremy. Uh, uh, what do I feel like? A back stick pressure. Go back more. If you need to add trim, pull down to the hat. Oh, there you go. Man, it feels weird. Fourteen hundred. Back to power off. Oh, okay. okay. Number two, follow the short follow. Two six right there for the option. Move the option number two on two six right. Two pop a golf. All right. Right turn to the downwind. We're at fourteen hundred feet now. On the downwind, everything is happy. Yep, Jeremy. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. Huh? That was my first takeoff. Yeah. Was that your first takeoff? Yeah, yeah, well, okay. I, we did a takeoff once before, but I, I'm not going to say that that was my first. I, no, guys, yeah, the uh, takeoff is, is the most difficult thing, in my opinion, even more harder than the landing. Uh, so, and the takeoff's not difficult, but it's a very step-by-step -step procedure, you know, to do the things in the exact order. Uh, to get off the ground. Once you're flying, though, piece of cake. Right? Yeah. There you go. Piece yeah, of cake. no, it is. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's different sensations for me. It's, yeah. The biggest thing on that takeoff is this this aircraft with the 915 engine's got a lot of torque. The nose is pulling, pulling hard to the left, so you got to go right pedal. If you go right pedal hard, you got to do a little left stick. So again, it's always left stick, right pedal. Now, I'm not talking, I'm just talking a little left stick, just like an inch or so, not like a foot over. A little left stick, right pedal. He has cleared us for the option number two. I don't see his number one landing. Why don't you look to your right there, Jeremy? Tell me if you see somebody. I don't see anybody. Uh, and tower two, job, uh, two pop golf. Did our number one land? Yeah, two pop golf, from if you're number one. Number one, two pop golf. All right. Yeah, Turn. Two pop golf, from the base of the watch for the power of the runway, Jeremy. Two pop golf. All right. He just told us about traffic on the other the runway. Parallel runway, sure. On the base, let's start parallel. coming off the power, because we definitely want to start coming down. Keep that nose down and keep our airspeed up around 60. Looking good. Obviously, on airports with parallel runways, you don't want to overfly your, your runway. Okay, watch our airspeed there. Keep that nose down. There you go. Line up on the two six right. Feel like you're lined up? I am. <laughs> I'm getting there. You're getting there. Isn't this fun, guys? <laughs> he is lined up with two six right. I like it. So we're gonna fly down to the runway, down to one foot off the ground, and we're just gonna fly down the runway low until it feels right come off the power and set those back tires on the ground for a nice soft landing. Soft landing, right? Soft land, that's what I'm talking about. 
Okay, our airspeed is good. Our feet are on the pedals. We're keeping it nice and straight. Uh, we're coming down to the ground. I don't like people to flare out too high. I want you to get on down to the runway. So we're down at the runway right about now. Slowly come off the power. There you go. Get that nose back. Let's set those back wheels on the ground nice and softly. Oh, that was like butter. Stick back. We keep the nose off the ground as long as we can. Now we're going to take back off. Keep on the center line with your pedals here, Jeremy, if you can. A little left pedal. Oh, there you go. There you go. Nose is going to come up. We're at 300 RPM. There it is. Left stick a little bit. That's, a, that's that little bit of left stick. A lot of right pedal. Go no full power. Left stick, right pedal. Just let it float up off the ground. Just like that. Right pedal. Okay, will be number one for landing. Or right pedal. Push the point that toe. Okay. There you go. Jerry, two public golf, extend up into the power line, following to Cherokee inbound over the power line. To the power line, two public golf. All right, you're keeping that nose down. Look at our speed. Pull it back to 60. Pull that nose back. Oh, I took your trim off. Add some more trim. Down uh, just past six. More, more, more. More, more, more. There you go. Pull that stick back till you get to 60. Woo, we're climbing now. A lot more right rudder than I thought. A lot of right rudder with this engine. It's very powerful. Okay. But you and I are not the smallest boys in the world. No. <laughs> but this thing whips us off the ground, no problem. Yeah. I'm a chunky monkey. Dude. <laughs> okay, 1400. Let's back the power off to about 4500 RPM. Back, back, back on the power. Oh, it's really pull it back. Pull, pull, pull. And shoot up the power. There, there you go. go. That much. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot. Right here. Uh, with trying to be smooth. Oh, pull that power back. All right, so the tower asks us to fly up to the power lines before we turn our crossway. Three thousand. Those are there right there. Uh, them right there. Helicopter. This one's traffic at 12 o'clock and two miles east on the river side, a uh, 2400, and then a left base runway 26. Right. Let me see how those fingers uh, white knuckling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here, let go of the stick for a second. Look at this, we can fly with one finger. Probably no fingers. Right, clear for the option. And once we're in. Two six right, clear for the option, two public open. Sorry. Cherry four, whiskey runway two six left, clear for the option. All right, two, let's six, go ahead and turn our crosswind. Four, one, whiskey. Yeah, guys, if you're a white knuckler, you're holding onto that stick really tight, loosen it up. Yeah, get that thing trimmed like you want and just barely have the movement there. The looser you are with this stuff, the better it is. So we went down to 4,000 RPM. That's why we have a little descent going. So oh, I had you a little power back. There. Thank you. The way I knew that was I heard the sound of the engine. Turn your downwind. When you fly enough, guys, you'll you'll hear the engine. And you'll know what about straight and level is. On the Kevlon, it's about 4,500 RPM. And um, I can listen to it, and I can tell that we're a little over that right now. We're probably, what are we at on the RPM? I won't look. Uh, almost five. 5,000, yeah. But if I pull it down just a little bit, that's about the right sound. That sounds for like 4,500 to me. When you fly enough, you'll just kind of get that sound memorized in your head, and then you won't even have to look at the engine RPM, and you'll know uh, if you're descending or you are climbing. And guys, if you want to have fun like Jeremy, <laughs> come out here to Chino and visit me. You can be a cameraman too. <laughs> well, thank you for some flights. So, uh, we have had some of uh, you guys coming out here to Chino and flying with me, and uh, we're having the best time. Uh, we always have fun out here. You got to have fun, remember, this This stuff, what this stuff's all about. Look at Jeremy right at 1,400 feet. Perfect. That's our pattern altitude here. Doing like 70 knots. This is like, that's, that's green. textbook, baby. Textbook. That's what I'm saying. All right. Good job, Jeremy. Maintaining 1,400, or 1400 feet on the downwind as we turn onto the base. Let's start coming off the power a little bit. What is a good RPM to descend? Tank, I like 3,500. That's a pretty good descent. No, oh. yeah, we got a plane goofing off on the runway, so we're going to kind of fly slow up there. Tower, Charlie, Charlie, this will be gone. It'll be gone by the time the tower knows we can kind of stop in midair, which is kind of fun. Trigger five boots, did you know a tower? 
Iron Midfield left down runway two. All right. To the left. So we're still pretty high. We're still at 1,400 feet. We're turning final. So All let's right. come off that power even more. Okay. Let's get this thing down. Keep our airspeed up by getting that nose down. There you go. You're lined up on the runway. Looking good. So the two things I concentrate on landing is, uh, am I doing 60 miles an hour or better? And is my nose straight for landing? I don't want to come in all sideways. That would cause issues. So my toes are on the pedals to make those little corrections to keep our nose absolutely straight. Keep our nose down, building the speed up. Looking pretty good here. Slowly come back on the stick, Jeremy. Let's fly down the runway. We're about five feet now. Let's get down to one foot. There's one foot, back on the stick, back on the stick, slow, more back on the stick. Ooh. You didn't pull back on the stick. My bad. More back on the stick. Okay. All right. Off we go, around the pattern again. Nose is gonna come up quick. There's the nose, whoop, left stick, right pedal. <laughs> uh, I don't feel it yet, that's my problem. Yeah. Right pedal? More, more right pedal. Left stick. There you go. Pull back on the stick. Let's climb at 60. Pull back on the stick. Back on the stick. You know, a little more. Two, one, two, a little more. Two, six, right. There's your climb rate. You're getting it. Definitely a muscle memory thing. It is. I gotta feel those landings. Now we're doing 80. Let's go to 60, so pull back. There's a good climb. Now we're climbing 1,500 feet a minute. Really with us? Jerry, could you do that? Yeah. Down. Am I ready for my... Jerry, one whiskey, extend that one. Yep, go ahead. Extending up wind. One, one whiskey. Coming up at 1,400, let's back that power down to 4,500. Lightning one, not you know, Tower Roger. There you go. You can, uh, make sure to run my, uh, nice, good job. We're just like, like right on it. Pattern uh, south of the field at 2,500. Our downwind to the right. Lightning uh, 26 left. If we can, we'd like to just do a orbit of 360 inside two miles just to stay in your airspace. I'd like to just do a box pattern if you'd like. Uh, lightning uh, one, Roger, what altitude? Like 2,500 for that? Lightning, that'd be great. It's pushing back above any of your other traffic. 926, Roger, approves requested. Um, you know, orbit south of the field uh, in your 360s. Lightning, uh, south of the field in a 360, 2500. Turn base, turn base, 26, uh, left, clear for the option. Clear for the uh, option, 226. Turning 4 and whiskey, turn across them. Turning across, wind 4 and whiskey. Turn with 2 bubble golf, send that one. Send that one, 2 bubble golf. Three, one, four, Julie, right turn down. Turn down, 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 uh, so pretty basic stuff. So once you memorize the four or five things that the tower can say, even if they talk quickly, uh, you'll kind of know what they said. All right, so we are descending just a little bit because we're at 4,000. Let's go to 4,500. Well, make uh, right close traffic. There you go. That should keep us straight and level. Make right close traffic. Two six right close kick off. One Lima. So because he said extend down, when the next call, the next call we can expect is turn base. So we're listening for two Papa Golf turn base. Gary two Papa Golf turn base number two following the Cherokee over the Washington two six or right clear for the option. Two for the option two six right number two two Papa Golf. Am I taking away your fun of doing the radio no, calls? No, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting task saturated right now, so I just want to focus on flying. All right, we got two jets right here. Yeah, yep. Those they were. Uh, that was Lightning. That was the group that was calling there a minute ago. They're going to do a, a flyby, I believe. That's kind of cool. All right, keep your eye on our target, though. Let's turn in on our runway. Keep our airspeed. There you go. With the traffic. Good job, Jeremy. We're getting lined up on 26 right. Two F 35s are orbiting the airport. That's cool. Awesome. 
traffic inside, 41 Whiskey. Two Papa Golf, traffic off to your left, Tyler, only 1,200 and K on the left base, Cherokee. We got him, two Papa Golf. Two Julia, number two, follow check on the left base of the washroom, and two six left, clear for the option. This is left, clear for the option, two Julia. One Lima Lima, number two, follow drag up there over the washroom, and two six right, clear for so the option. You can see you're not lined up quite right. Yeah. See the road, or we should be over the road. Road approach, uh, is it possible for me to do uh, figure eights out here so I can get that one Lima Lima? And you are descending a bit, so let's stay high. Uh, ooh, two left, three safety. Because if you lost your engine now, would we make the runway? No, probably not. Sure, if you want to kilo, Charlie can make a right turn at kilo, then contact ground, we'll see you in a minute. Great, kilo, contact ground, one, two, Charlie. There we go. We would make the Amazon parking lot, that's what we make. <laughs> at least I'll get my order quicker. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, you can back the power down a little bit. There you are. Dude, look at that. I'm sorry. What? They're flying right over us. Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I hope our camera picks that up. I think the 360 on the Lenniker might. Nice. Did you say two F-35s? Yeah. Nice. All right. Now we're kind of better, so we can start a descent now. Yeah, they're ready to start a descent on the other runway. So we're coming off that power. Good descent rate is uh, what RPM? Do you remember? 3,000? 35. I'd say so that's probably pretty good. So, guys, well, why don't we do a full stop on this one? We'll do a full stop. All right. Coming on down to the runway. Back on that stick. We're coming a little fast, right? Let's back that power down. Back on the stick. On the stick. Back. Back more. Look at that. Nice. Whoop. Get the nose off the ground. Number one, Lima Lima. All right. Stick, stick forward. On this next pack. No need Rotor for brake on right. Additional 360. We're going to exit on Delta. Two six right clear for the option. Two six right clear. Option short. Pull, Pull down, down on the hat. Wind 260 at 1 3, gust 1 6. And power 2 Papa Golf for full stop. 2 Papa Golf, contact ground point 6. Ground point 6, 6. All right. It's nice and slow off the runway. The wind is coming from our left, so we're going to go left. 2 stick. Niner 8 2. Pump it up a little bit more, if you would. There you go, now that I'll get a good grip on it. All right. Prior brakes here. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off the runway here. I'm gonna go to ground control, one, two, one, six. Charlie, you could probably park. Chino ground, gyro two, Papa Golf, off two, six, right to Eagle Staff. Gyro two, Papa Golf, Chino ground, Texas parking via Delta Mike. Delta Mike, two, Papa Golf. All right, off we go. Hey, don't ride the brakes, right? There we go. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're going to exit here. On the mic. Jeremy, you did a pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we practice. He watching those videos was helping you out, huh? I think so. It's it's just the uh, muscle memories. Yeah. Mostly when I... By the way, guys, do not use our videos for training. Uh, it's good to review that stuff, but you should get real training from a flight instructor uh, at your local airport or come out here to Chino and fly with me. Let's see if Jimmy's still with us. Yes. All right, camera in the back. Jimmy's still with us there. Woo, Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs>